My name is Abby Jones, and I'm talking about um, how to move into a new space in an efficient and functional way, and how to set up your new space and organize it. Right now, I'm talking about how to organize uh, your kitchen, and specifically your appliances. So these are my appliances, um, the majority of them. I have a blender and a water filter, um, a coffee maker, um, and a um, food processor. <laughs> and, uh, and then I have, also have uh, my a juicer and my seed grinder. So um, when I was looking at the appliances that I had and deciding where to put them, um, I, I mostly decided where to put them based on uh, how much I use them and their function. Um, I chose to keep these things underneath the counter because I, I don't use them on, on uh, as, I don't use them as frequently as I do my, my juicer and my seed grinder, uh, which I keep up on the counter. So um, I also, my, uh, under my counter has a little shelf in the back which if your counter doesn't have, you can actually create, uh, there's some, some uh, you can get cheap shelving units at, at, at an organizational store or even if you can find them at garage sales. Um, or just use anything, even uh, bricks and a piece of wood to create that second level really helps you organize your cabinet spaces. So, um, so I'm going to put my food processor up on that back shelf because I don't use that very much, and my coffee maker as well, because I really don't use that all that much either. Um, I put my blender out here on the front, because I use that on a fairly regular basis, but not, um, not enough to want it out on the counter. And then my, um, my water filter I use about once a week or once every 10 days. And so, um, so I keep it here where it's easily accessible. It's near the sink where I hook it up. Um, and, uh, um, and easy to get out and put back because it is a, a heavier, heavier appliance. My juicer, um, I actually use a lot. Um, and so I keep that, I'm keeping that out on the counter as well as my seed grinder I use for a cereal that I make um, four or five times a week. And so I am gonna keep that out as well. Um, um, especially since it needs to be out in the open to dry and I wash it every, every time I use it. So, so those are some things that to think about as you think about where to place your appliances is um, how often you use them, um, how they need to, to dry because a lot of appliances you need to take apart um, to, to dry and, um, and, and where, where they are um, based on where, where you're using them.